Hi guys, it's Chase with Biocentric Bros, and I'm going to be showing you our mushroom environment today. And here it is, it's just a uh, PVC structure covered in greenhouse plastic, sealed with some greenhouse tape and some silicone. And, um, it's currently being run off of 15 minute cycle timers and a bilge blower from a boat, so that's hooked up to a power supply from a computer, and just a little bit of soldering work, and like I said, this is a 140 CFM bilge blower, pick them up for under 30 bucks from your local marine store. That's pulling fresh air in from our furnace room, and that goes down and runs back, um, and then this is a recirculation pipe. And that all blows into a bucket with pond foggers and a little bit of foam on this, some bungee cords to hold the lid down. Goes right into the room. A little bit of silicone around there. This made a really nice fitting. You can find these for venting in the roofing supply places or or furnaces, things like that. And we'll show you the bottom here. Got a little bit of leaking going on, but overall it's not too bad. Um, there's a center drain there. That's where everything comes out. The pan just collects the water, dump that once a day. Um, I just made this little frame. I'm probably going to get rid of this on the next one. We'll see how it goes. A little bit of foam it opened up here. This is just a tarp zipper. Seems to do pretty well. Here it is. Nice and foggy. Mm -hmm. See the corners here. Just simple PVC frame. Mm -hmm. This is my out air duct. Um, it needs a little bit of work, but it does its purpose. Um, that just goes out of the entire room outside and this is my recirculation port um, we're just using LED rope lighting 6500k um, silicone through the ceiling and attached with some zip ties pretty simple this shelf is just your standard $30 uh, home shelving unit at Home Depot, Lowe's. I drilled some holes in it trying to get some drainage. I'm probably going to get rid of this shelf eventually because we're getting too much standing water on it. Um, the next one that you'll see in a later video actually has uh, PVC shelving that I built using some galvanized wire um, fencing. So it's a little bit different, but this is it. Uh, go through the blocks. We've got some Anoki in here, some shiitake, second flush shiitake, some Anokis and some jars. Um, these are uh, tiger mushroom, we believe. Lentinus tigrinus. And they look a little bit different than most other people's tigers, so we're having a little hard time identifying them, but that's pretty sure what, what they are. Some more tigrinus, tigrinus. Um, we got some blue oyster in the back there that are just coming on. Looking a little stemmy though. Our CO2 meter reads pretty close to 500 parts per million, but those oysters are looking stemmy, so we might need to uh, do a little bit of fixing there. And then these are some lion's mane blocks, supposed lion's mane. We may have got our cultures mixed up. Um, cause that guy is not looking so much like a lion's mane. We'll see what he turns into, but... Um, some more Nokis in here. We're about ready to harvest. Go show you the other side. recirculation and then this all goes outside 
Um, we've installed a bathroom fan just to clear the air in this room. We were getting pretty high humidity throughout the room. And, um, don't want any of that. So that's what that is. Goes into a simple Y port and then goes outside. So that's the uh, setup. Um, you're going to be seeing that one soon. Still in work in progress, but that's our second room. And come check us out. Facebook.com slash Biocentric Bros. You can find us under YouTube at Biocentric Bros. Um, let us know if you have any questions or comments.